Wondering how to use the Eye of Ender in Minecraft? This video is going to explain the crafting recipe and how to use an Eye of Ender to find strongholds. Let's first talk about the crafting recipe. It is an Ender Pearl and Blaze Powder crafts an Eye of Ender. Blaze Powder is acquired by killing blazes that drop 0 to 1 blaze rods, which can be crafted into 2 blaze powder. This can be increased with the looting enchantment, which is a sword enchantment. With blazes, it increases the potential drops of blaze rods by 1 per a level. The maximum level is 3, so at level 3 looting, you could get between 0 to 4 blaze rods. Blazes are found in the nether fortress and specifically spawn from the blaze spawner. You can get 0 to 1 ender pearls when you kill an enderman. At looting level 3, killing an enderman can drop 0 to 4 ender pearls. Also, cleric villagers at the expert level, which is the fourth level, have a two thirds chance of having a trade of an ender pearl for five emeralds. Also, the new mob in the 1.16 update, the piglin, who can be found in the crimson forest, will barter ender pearls. First off, piglins will be hostile if you're not wearing gold armor. To barter with piglins, hold a gold ingot, either drop the gold ingot near the piglin or click on the piglin. The piglin will take this gold ingot and give you an item in exchange. There is a 4.73% chance of them giving you 4 to 8 ender pearls. You can also get ender pearls and chest loot in strongholds in the altar chest at 23.3% and trap chest in the fake portal room in woodland mansions. Once you've crafted the Eye of Ender, there is two crafting recipes you can use them in. The first one is for the End Crystal. The recipe is the Eye of Ender, Gas Tears, and Seven Glass will craft you an End Crystal. They can be used as an explosive and do the same damage as a Charge Creeper or more than TNT. Four End Crystals can be placed on each side of the exit portal in the end, and this will respawn the Ender Dragon. The second recipe is an Eye of Ender and 8 Obsidian can be crafted into an Ender Chest. The purpose of the Eye of Ender is to help you locate strongholds in the overworld. The strongholds are structures in the overworld that are underground and thousands of blocks away from each other. Strongholds have several different features but their main feature is a portal leading to the end. How you use the Eye of Ender is to hit the Use button and the Eye will fly 12 blocks in the direction of the nearest stronghold. After 2 or 3 seconds of floating, it floats in the air briefly before falling or shattering. There is a 20% chance that an Eye of Ender will shatter when it is thrown. Also, Eyes of Ender can travel through blocks if necessary. The direction the eye goes is pointing towards the spiral staircase in the stronghold. This staircase is the first part of the stronghold that is generated. If you are far away from the stronghold, the eye will travel upwards. When close to the stronghold, the eye travels in a precise direction and flies down if the stronghold is below. The flying function only works in the overworld, not in the nether or the end. After you have found the stronghold, the next use of the Eye of Ender is to activate the End Portal. The End Portal generates in the End Portal room of the stronghold and it has a silverfish spawner next to it. The End Portal is composed of portal frame blocks that are 3x3. Three three. There is a 10% chance of each frame having an Eye of Ender already in it. You'll have to place 12 Eyes of Ender in the portals by right clicking. The portal should be activated and you can travel to the End Dimension. <laughs> 